everyone here is a new knife video it is a lower cost knife that uh, I've liked the brand and I figured I'd try it out because it wasn't that expensive it's around 24 25 let me restate that it's around 30 bucks plus tax and shipping depending on where you buy it from uh, so it's not the lowest of cost knives and so anyways it, this is a SE or uh, rat uh, knife uh, that is a folder and it has pretty unique design to it uh, I give you so that I got the all black straight edge version I think they had a, a just a normal metal shiny metal uh, version as well it has a steel handle it has the pocket clip by the knife blade you can switch the pocket clip you can only do so on one side. It is a frame lock. And I'll say it's a little stiff in the opening and closing of the frame lock. But after using that over time, I'm sure that will break in. It has a lanyard hole that is pretty generous for rope sizes. Okay. It is, it has an AUS-8 blade steel from Taiwan. So this is where the low cost comes in. This is typically a good but lower end steel. It is, you can look at my old videos about it, but it's uh, quick to sharpen, relatively quick to dull, but will carry an extremely sharp edge because it's still so thin. The blade itself is extremely thin in metal it's not a not a they don't give you a lot of metal on the blade i was actually fairly surprised in that the blade was so lacking of metal if that makes any sense um it's not uh, thick it's another way of what i'm trying to say the handle's g10 it's very ergonomic it fits great in my hand at least for a small knife it's comfortable I think it looks nice. I can open and close after some break in. Fairly easy with one hand. There, it's amazing lockup for the price of the knife. Zero wiggle in any direction, up, down, left, right. So the quality is pretty high. Plan on some break in. Um, it's. It, it's not the lightest of knives because this whole back side is steel and it looks like the other side has a steel liner as well that uh, doesn't appear to be yeah it's not skeletonized so it is G10 with the metal liners frame lock you can see the bushings in there so it is very smooth thumb studs kind of volcano style and it has a cool design on it so I think this is probably about five dollars overpriced in my opinion but it's a good knife so far I would call it a light duty knife given the the blade width and the steel type let me know if you have any questions